If you have a Jeep Wrangler or a Jeep Gladiator, or maybe you're thinking about buying one, one of the main reasons is that you probably want to take the freaking doors off these things, right? That's one of the most coolest parts about having a Jeep. It's one of the only few vehicles in America where you can even do this. And of course, you can just simply take the doors off and drive around. That's what we've been doing since we got our first Jeep Wrangler back in 2018. But you may find times where you've got your kids in the back or you've got dogs, you've got animal, whatever you've got in the back. And maybe you want a little extra security that that stuff doesn't fall out of the back of the Jeep, especially while you're off-roading maybe. So what we're going to do today is we're going to install a set of tubular doors from Hook Road. <laughs> Sometimes when I'm in the pickup line picking the kids up from school without any doors on, I see some of the teachers and moms giving me that stink eye. So this is a case where I think having tubular doors might be a good idea. Also, our kids are getting older now, and so when I'm picking up some of the other people's kids to go to sports and stuff like that, you know, their kids might not be used to being in a vehicle that doesn't have doors on it. You know, we don't want to have any mishaps or whatever, and, and we want the people to feel comfortable, right? So that's why we're going to also do these tubular doors. Not to mention, tubular doors, in my opinion, look pretty badass. All right, first up, uh, let's get this box open and show you guys what I got. Now, right out of the box, at first glance, these things look pretty sweet. Now, these are made from one and a quarter inch tube steel, and they're powder coated and e coated. You can kind of see, I don't know how well the camera picks it up, but the uh, the finish on them is like almost the same as my my like truck bed liner. Um, but again, yeah, they look good. They look sweet. Now, these are from Hook Road. Now, if you guys don't know, Hook Road sells a whole bunch of different Jeep accessories, bumpers and the doors and all that stuff. And this set, actually, you can get it with mirrors, too. Uh, the bolt on right there. But unfortunately, they're, they're out of the mirrors right now. I think they're on back order. So we'll have to pick those up at a later date. And I also actually ordered a different solution that we'll, we'll work on later. But uh, anyway, one of the reasons I bought these, I do like the design of these things. You know, they look really cool. Uh, and also with tubular doors the sky is the freaking limit as far as how much money you want to spend these are about 330 bucks i think is uh, what, what they have on their website and you know there's doors up there that are a couple thousand dollars you know so you can really go crazy but you know again these are something that you know i may not necessarily use every time my doors are off but you know those times when i want some extra protection maybe if i got kids and stuff we'll throw the doors on now these doors also weigh about 56 pounds for all four of them so, you know, definitely a lot lighter than the stock doors, um, especially the front doors. The stock front doors are, are, you know, pretty dang heavy. So this is going to save you some weight versus having the doors too and, you know, give you that extra protection. And then they do have, look at this, fully, um, you know, latches, right? So that's how it'll end up latching to your OEM latch. And then you'll be able to open this. Um, and then it also has limiting straps, nylon limiting straps, to, so that way the door doesn't swing all the way open on you. Um, so it's very similar to factory, and it comes with all the hardware we need. So now we've got to break into that. And then there is some assembly we need to do uh, as far as getting like the hinges and stuff on here, and then uh, we'll be good to go. Now the instructions these guys give you are pretty sweet. Look at this, all full color, pictures, all that good stuff. Now that's pretty nice. Now the first thing it's showing me is get all of your brackets, uh, all your door hinge brackets all lined up because there's different orientations for you know front, rear, left, right, all that stuff. So I got that all laid out. It took me a second just to kind of figure it out because you can see where you know some have the hinge at the top of the bracket and then below and then some are on the left the right you know so get that all figured out and then that'll help you to be able to put the doors together and you know you can get your doors figure out which ones are your left and right and all that stuff and then start to assemble now these are your limiting straps i was telling you guys about the nylon ones now these look like they go on to uh, the bottom bracket here the bottom holes for the bracket um, along with one of the door hinge brackets and you just kind of sandwich it all together and, uh, and then I've already kind of put this one up top so pretty simple and then the instructions tell us we want to put all the hardware together but have it loose because we're not going to tighten it until we get it installed onto the Jeep 
and with the, with the door latched, and then you go ahead and start to tighten everything. Um, so I'll walk you guys through that part. All right, now as far as assembly goes, you're gonna put your uh, hinge brackets on the outside of the door, right? And uh, so this one is the driver's side rear that we're working on. So get your brackets, and then as far as the bolts go, you're gonna use your bolt with a flat washer on the outside, a lock washer on the inside, and then the nut. Now the lock washers are just these guys right here. And actually, I think in my kit here, I got 16 of these, so you could put one on the outside and one on the inside, but Typically, if you have, you know, got the flat washer on the outside, you just need one lock washer. So I'm just using one on the inside. Now, when you get to the bottom, this is going to also have your limiting strap. And so I've just got it oriented just like this. That, that's what makes sense to me. Um, the instructions weren't super clear on that part, like as far as seeing it. But anyway, we're, I, I'm guessing that's how it goes. So if not, we'll switch it. But um, so again, you put all the hardware on loose, just hand tight, and then we're going to get them installed onto the Jeep. And then we'll do the final tightening to make sure everything's all lined up and you've got a good solid close. So I'm going to go ahead and finish getting all the rest of the doors all ready to go. All right. The first step we need to do is let's get these stock doors off. All right. Now I went ahead and I already installed the passenger side just so I can get an idea of how to do it and explain it to you guys. So what I did is just simply kind of pop these guys on. And again, all of our hardware is loose. Okay, so that's kind of slid in. Now, a trick that I found, that I found online from another guy, is they use a piece of cardboard. And so what he does with the cardboard, is kind of shoves that just like over this stock latch here, so that when this latch here slides over, it kind of like self-centers and gets it where you want it to be as far as up and down. And then you don't have to mess with that at all. You can just tighten your bolts and then you've got that part figured out. And that seemed to work pretty freaking sweet uh, for the passenger side. So we're gonna try that again. So, yep, locked in with that. And then now we'll just go ahead and tighten these down. All right, so let's talk tools. So for the outside bolts here, we're gonna need a five millimeter hex. Uh, ratchet that's gonna make sure you can get enough torque on there all that good stuff and then we've got a 13 millimeter ratchet for these inner nuts now if you guys do end up having to make some adjustments to uh, the hinge which is there's two bolts inside there those two hinge bolts are the four millimeter sorry so four millimeter on those if you do have to make an adjustment when I did these two doors this one seems pretty good but this one I had to move the hinge in a little bit because it, it seemed like it had a lot of rattle to it so I fixed that, should be good. So we'll see how these ones go now. So, um, so I've got this one with our cardboard and I'm just gonna go ahead and tighten it and then we'll see if we need to make any adjustments to the hinge. All right, now with everything tightened down, we can pop the door, remove our piece of cardboard. And then look at that, look at that, listen to that sound, man. That's satisfying. Now the other adjustment, so we know we've got it good now up and down, but see how we've still got some play in and out. So that adjustment has to get taken up by actually moving this uh, hinge that's in here. And so this is where you've got to remove these uh, two bolts. Uh, so these are the four millimeters. And then you're able to actually move this in a little bit and then that'll suck it in a little bit tighter so you don't get any kind of vibration. Now the cool thing with these doors is they do have this rubber pad right here. So once you do get this whole hinge adjusted, you know, and again, you just loosen these two bolts here and you can move this in and out. You're gonna have to play with it. There's some trial and error back and forth, but once you get it good, then that rubber pad will kind of just sit against your door. And so you won't get much vibration or, you know, rocking. So this one's got some, so I'm definitely gonna go ahead and uh, we'll mess with this one. Now I've got this uh, this hinge kind of pulled in as far back as it can go, and it's definitely a lot better. You know, seems pretty solid now. So that's all you gotta do. You just gotta kind of play with it. And this just took me, you know, a minute or two, and then boom, you're good to go. All right, the other thing we need to talk about, and we've got some, we've got some rain coming down, so ignore that. But the limiting straps. So there's two different sizes. So the front have the shorter limiting straps, just because of the way. Um, where this is just like straight across from it, where it connects to. This just connects in the factory spot, you know, so keeps the door from swinging all the way open. So that's pretty cool. And the back ones have the longer ones, and that's because you can see where 
um, where this bracket's gonna go, you know, way down there, it's gotta go way up here. So these are the longer ones. So at first I kind of thought it was opposite. I was thinking longer door, longer strap, shorter door, shorter strap, but it's the opposite. Long ones go in the back. Otherwise you'll be removing your bolts like I'm doing. Now this back door, I just got it all tightened down and this one didn't need any adjustment um, on this hinge here. It just seems like it's just fine. So that one's good. Um, I would make sure you guys tighten down all these um bolts so again these little four millimeters they they weren't like super tight you know so i'd make sure um i also tightened this this is also a five millimeter same same as those bolts so yeah, just make sure all your bolts are tight you're good to go i've got all my little um limiting straps all good and so yeah this thing's all together now as far as looks go man i think this just looks freaking sick i'm pretty happy i mean i think for again for 300 ish bucks um, these are a pretty good deal to get you some tube doors, you know, if you want to spend $1,000, $2,000. Sure, you can do that too, but, uh, you know, for what I'm doing, just to help keep stuff from falling out, you know, when you're driving around, like, uh, this is actually all my daughter's racing gear, you know, so there's probably five, 600 bucks worth of equipment, you know, helmet, suit, all that stuff in there. So it's just cool that, you know, you drive enough to worry about this thing flying out or her flying out. So that's, uh, that's pretty cool. Look at that. That's pretty cool. All right, let's just uh, go for a little rip in the backyard here real quick. So I just kind of want to hear, I mean, we'll, we'll have to do an actual road test, proper road test later. But, but yeah, so far so good. I mean, I don't hear any, any issues, any rattling or anything yet. I mean, obviously we're, we're going six miles an hour here, but I don't know. I might, I think I might hear a little bit of like rattling or movement. Yeah, I think so. Especially that back door. I probably need to make some more adjustments. And that's going to be the thing with these, right? You're going to have to, you know, make some fine adjustments as you go and see what see what works best for your Jeep. So, Cam, what do you think about the new tubular doors from Hook Road? Okay. So, the thing that's good about it is, like, it, it matches the car. Yeah, I think like, it does. It, the good thing is about it is that I can climb it. No. What's the good thing about it is you don't fall out. I'm fine with falling out. <laughs> All right, time to get to racing. Let's go. All right, guys, so we're driving, and we've got a few miles on the Jeep now with these new doors installed. And, you know, we've been going 40, 50 miles an hour. I'm not hearing, you know, any kind of uh, vibrations or clanging like that so everything sounds good it's just like normal i mean mostly all you can hear with the doors off is all the wind coming in and all that kind of stuff anyway but yeah it's freaking awesome i got a place to put my arm i'm loving these things so I'm already finding that the tube doors are coming in handy for times like this where, you know, your truck bed is already full of crap and you need to put some stuff in the back. Like I got some groceries here and, you know, normally without doors on, I'd be a little bit more concerned that the stuff could just slide right out, but this is going to keep them in place. So already paying off, loving it. So if you guys are thinking about tube doors for your Jeep, definitely check out Hook Road. I'll put the link to their website down below. I've actually got a 5% affiliate discount too. So if you guys click on there, use my code below, you'll get 5% off of this $329.99 price that they have on their website. And again, check out a bunch of the other videos that we have on the uh, Gladiator. I've also got a few different Wrangler videos that we've done over the years. So check that all out. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. It really helps the channel out. And we'll catch you boys on the next one. See ya.